Keep your bum. It's a very cute bum. Okay. Everybody. Morning bedtime. Let's see, I guess we can leave it on this camera for now. Let's make you a little more comfy. Serum first. Your face, it's so pretty. 
She's so pretty and brave. She's getting so good about this. Good girl. Good girl. What a good girl. Alright, so 9.30. So 9.56 or later. We will do eye appointment. Now let's take a look. So brave, aren't you? You're very brave. Yes. Such a good girl. Did you have a good sleep? You looked pretty comfy in there and then you went exploring. Now she's offering to hide in the museum. Aren't you so cute? Oh my gosh. Adorable. He's so cute. Should we do a little? Oh, let's do a little. You're so cute. Oh my gosh. You're so cute. Mm -hmm. So brave. I'm not seeing much of a change in her left eye. The right eye might be a tiny bit. Um, the scarring might be a tiny bit less, but it's hard to tell. Because it looks different depending on the angle you're looking at. But her left eye is still bulging and quite opaque. So it's hard to tell just by looking if, it's, if there's any change yet. Right?
She let me walk right up to her. She was hiding behind a toilet, so her face was on one side and her bum was on the other side of behind the toilet. And so she did let me walk right up and sort of block block her face from going any further. And she turned around and went into the blanket by her bum. Um, but she didn't really panic. And of course, she has not been aggressive at all. She's had a few little hisses. Just a few little token hisses. But very few. And for good reason. She's been remarkably brave. Her breathing is good right now, nice and slow. It usually is not till after I go that it gets really fast. But I also think that's a pregnancy thing. I don't think that's 100% a stress thing because it happens, it continues when she sleeps. Um, I, think it's a, I think it's a late stage pregnancy thing and also a stress thing sometimes. But nothing to worry about. Pretty normal.
Um, Cassidy is doing great. Um, not seeing a huge um, change from the Botox, but researcher or the everyone was saying it could take two to four weeks to really kick in. So who knows? But other than that, he's doing great. <laughs> It'd be nice to do an egg hunt for them, but uh, sadly, there's no time for Easter at Tiny Tuxie's HQ. I didn't even know this was a holiday weekend <laughs> until yesterday. You are very cute. Where are you putting your face? Where are you putting your face? Are you hiding from the predator? Well, that was a big sigh. You're very cute. You're very brave. She was pretty relaxed last night. Um, I thought maybe we would get a a little bit of a purr last night, but no, no dice. She's a little more uh, tense right now at the moment, but not too bad. Our breathing's pretty good. You can't, um, it's interesting with her because I can't rely on her eyes to kind of judge how she's doing. Because we take a lot of cues from what their eyes are doing. But um, with, her, with her eyes, she could be doing any sort of thing for any number of reasons. So um, I have to look at other, other indicators of how she's doing. Luckily, she's very much um, behaving and being a good girl and being very brave and not panicking. She's taking her medicine like a champ. I wonder if it's something to do with um, being injured, if that has a profound effect on their tolerance or if it's just we've been lucky and had only injured cats with really great personalities now it's too early to say whether as she gets more confident she's going to get uh, more assertive um, and it's impossible to say how she'll react even if she's the sweetest cat in the world once kittens arrive all bets are off um, so I haven't quite figured out how to how to continue treatment with kittens in the picture. It gets much more complicated because I would have to separate her from the kittens before I try to um, grab her because otherwise the kittens um, could potentially get harmed, like if she swats at me or something and the kitten's in the way. Um, so I don't want to put them at risk. And I don't want to stress her out so much that she's unable to care for them. So it's going to be a lot of trial and error and just seeing what develops and how things go and how she does and how her kittens are doing, hoping they're healthy and hoping she cares for them. If we have other newborns with the other feral moms, um, we might be able to do a little bit of shifting of kittens around, but um, Sable's kittens are going to be too old for me to put newborns in there with her. She's got super milk, we know that much. But um, I don't know, it's, we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. It's 
going to get much more exciting around here in the next couple of weeks. Um, I don't know if there's no way for me to safely get her, then um, I don't know what we'll do about meds. That's a call I'll have to make based on the situation. There's unfortunately no road map and really no precedent for situations like this, so. Pregnant barrels are one thing, injured barrels are one thing, but injured pregnant barrels, that's a whole other thing, isn't it? <laughs> a whole other thing. I'm not concerned when petting her so close to her injured eyes. She'll move her face if I do anything that um, makes her uncomfortable. going to move her anywhere for the foreseeable future. That would add unnecessary stress. I think small is good uh, with her limited vision. I think, I think a contained area will make her feel safer. I'm not holding her down or restraining her in any way, so if she wanted to get up and move, she could. Now, because we haven't done, I haven't done her ointment yet, I don't want her to leave just yet, but um, she does seem to want to stay in my lap once she's put here just for as a safety reflex, um, only because it's, she feels it's safer where she is than to leave my lap and expose herself potentially. And she's fairly comfortable. Her breathing is still nice and slow. Yes, it's pretty slow. So very cute little toe beans. Look at your little toe beans, they're so cute. Those right there. Do you want a little snack? It's not a temptation, but I think you ate all your temptations. What's up? Hi. I know. You're very cute. Here, let's not my back in here. I know. Oh, and I know you can't leave just yet. You can't leave just yet because we have to do ointment. Here is your ointment. It's about time that we can do it. It might be in that plastic bucket. 
I'm going to just cover her up a bit because I'm going to open this. I know it's very scary, but you just lost. Here's your wingy. Good to go. Good to go. I wonder if I can open it. Oh, the trees are way up there. Okay, that's fine with me. Look what I brought you. Look what I brought you. This snack. I knew you like these snacks. I'll put it here for you. Want a treat? Keep making noises. So you can fold this back. I guess not. He's so cute. I know. It's me. You're okay. I know that made me nervous, huh? Oh, looking human predator in the face. You survived once again. You survive every time. Isn't that nice?
Oh, big fly. Big Wait, did I stop? I'm not supposed to stop. Alright, see so your eye I mean, it's been 30 minutes, which is even better than 20. So that's not great. a bit of chaos and disarray from the uh, nest prototype building that's been going on. I've got that one even on your eyelashes. Yeah, there you go. Good, good girl. Interesting that ointment was a little bit cooler this time because it was in the in 
in the bowl with the serum, which needs to stay refrigerated, and she didn't seem to, she seems to like it when it's room temperature. Good to know. We'll remember that for next time. I would think cool would be soothing, but nope. Good job. Okay, we got gotcha. you. All done. You're all done for now. Time to go. I'm gonna put you in your nest. So comfy. Litter box has been used, so I will clean that up for her. Oh, you're very beautiful. You're very beautiful and special. You did great this morning. in the nest. She never really wants to go back in the nest. Or anywhere when she's in the lab. She's pretty comfy in the lab. That's nice. Alright, here's go back to your comfy nest. Oh, look at that belly. That's quite a belly. Quite a special belly. Here, let me try this uncovered. Okay. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. What a what a good girl. She's very impressive. Alright. Okay. <sighs> Yeah.